Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this job here was actually pebble dashed over the top of a smooth render finish and it was all falling off and the guy took the most of it back off and it was rendered smooth bar the pillars had to be re-rendered and just up here there's a stop bead was put on and it was badly cracked and stuff so stop bead was put on the weight that you see is a primer coat for acrylic render which is going to be applied and be on the second half of this video um, yeah, so from that beat on up has been re-rendered all the way up to the pillars. Yeah, so as you'll see in the, the next part of the video, just how much acrylic render goes on so thin and you can see every wee hole, bump, everything. But it really does tidy up this wall and that's what the guy was after. Um, yeah. The bottoms of the walls will be scraped the next day. It's just if you scrape them now and the stuff's still wet, the dust might stick into it and it won't be as pretty and there's just what I was telling you about the acrylic render goes on so thin it's a rubber based render and it it follows every bad shape obviously the sun was ha highlighting that maybe a bit worse than what it actually is but yeah you you really want your undercoats to be perfectly smooth but I, th I think this turned out really well it's a Weber acrylic render and it's earth colour is the colour that it is and I think it fairly tidied up the job and turned out really well so well that the guy actually is going to be wanting the other side of the wall done but yeah so it's it's a rubber base render as I say and it should follow any movement in the wall to reduce cracking by a big big stage and you can power wash it and everything. So